All right, welcome back to Intro to Philosophy. My name is Tom, I'm your instructor still. Um, so for this first week, the question of course is what is philosophy, right? Um, it's a big question. There's a lot of people who say a lot of different things about what philosophy is, uh, mostly philosophers. Um, translated, it actually means uh, love of wisdom, right? Um, but basically, long story short, it is a discipline of inquiry into fundamental questions about the world, ourselves, and how we relate to, our, to the world. Um, um, the main disciplines to kind of get our footing or main um, sub uh, topics within philosophy are metaphysics, epistemology, and ethics. Um, and for this course, we will do a unit on each of these. Right. So let me give you a brief overview of what kinds of topics um, uh, we talk about in these different um, sub areas of philosophy. So first is metaphysics. Um, metaphysics has to do with what exists and what it is like. Right. Um, so questions that are metaphysical questions are what is existence? What is reality? Um, these are, of course, broad questions, but you can break them down pretty quickly. Um, so, for example, with the question, what is reality or what is it to exist? You know, think about what is the st status of a fictional character, right? So, for example, we say Santa is not real, um, but you can see someone meeting that description. You can also see lots of pictures of Santa and almost everyone knows who you're talking about when you talk about Santa. So um, how is that that much different from your friend Bob, right? Um, at a minimum, you need to explain that a little bit, right? So, um, but also when it comes to metaphysics, the, the, there's a question about what are objects and what are their properties, right? So the difference between animate and inanimate objects. Um, what's the status of colors? Um, what's the status of shapes um, or dispositions? What does it mean to say that glass is fragile exactly? Um, is that something you can see in the glass exactly, right? All these kinds of questions. Um, what we will talk about specifically in metaphysics is whether or not free will exists. We'll talk about that. We'll read a couple papers um, for and against that. And we'll also consider some arguments for the existence of God. Um, uh, the existence of God is a major uh, metaphysical issue. So the next main discipline is epistemology, which means the study of knowledge, okay? Sometimes it's just called knowledge theory. Um, so of course, the questions there are what is knowledge? Do we have knowledge? Um, skepticism is the view that we don't have knowledge to some degree or another. Um, questions about um, what is certainty? Um, what's the difference between having knowledge or just a belief um, or just an opinion? Are all these uh, are opinions and beliefs equivalent? Um, and then also the question about how we know. Right. If we do grant that we have knowledge, um, on what basis do we have knowledge? Um, and uh, we will talk about two main conflicting views of knowledge. Um, the first one is called empiricism. And uh, uh, that's the view that knowledge rests on sensory experience, right? That that's what grounds our knowledge of the world is our kind of direct access to it through the senses. Um, and then a contrasting view that knowledge primarily comes from the exercise of reason, right? Basic, and that's not to say that we don't have sensory experience of the world. It's just to say that basically we need reason to make sense of that um, uh, sensory experience, right? So this will become clear as we move forward. I'm just giving a brief overview of the things that we'll cover. And the last unit will be on ethics, right? And ethics has to do with what is right or good. Um, and uh, questions that arise here are whether or not, you know, ethical principles are mind independent, right? 
Um, are they socially constructed? Um, are they just mere opinions that are inflated in a certain way? Um, how do we make the distinction between right or wrong? On what basis do we make ethical judgments? Um, and, you know, there's areas of applied ethics, some of which we'll talk about a little bit, which, you know, um, what are ethical obligations in medicine or to the environment? Um, uh, do we have different ethical obligations to our family than to people in the public sphere, like your boss or your coworkers or um, people at school? So we'll talk about a few different ethical views. Um, two of them, uh, one is deontology, which is a view that um, ethics is based in obligations or duties, right? Um, and that we have kind of like absolute obligations, uh, absolute ethical obligations. Um, consequentialism actually views ethics in terms of the consequences that an action produces, right? So you look to the future to see, you know, what's the greater good? That's consequentialism. Um, and then we'll also consider some, um, some feminist critiques of both of these views and um, a particular argument about animal rights that is a pro-vegetarianism uh, argument. So that's pretty much what we'll be covering in the course. And that gives a little bit of a lay of the land when it comes to philosophy, but the idea of what is philosophy and what is not philosophy um, is really an open-ended question. And uh, within academia, there is a lot of controversy around this. Um, uh, where do we draw the line between literature and genuine philosophy and, um, you know, uh, an op-ed piece and, and so on and so forth um, is a really open-ended question. But um, the best way to kind of start to look at this is to look to philosophy itself, some traditional philosophical texts and get a sense of what they're talking about and what they think is important. And, um, and we'll start with, of course, Socrates and Plato um, uh, and uh, go from there. So that's it for this week. And I will see you next week. All right.